Good afternoon and welcome to Die Dragon Die Presents The Legends Campaign. I'm your DM and host Marty from Under the Stairs, joined by Adam and Ahmed, and Mark will join us as soon as he gets home from work. That mofo had to work on a Saturday. <laughs> poor Mark. Poor, poor, poor Mark. I, time, I, I, I guess? I, I, I want level equivalent XP for coming in from live from Egypt. Yeah, and <laughs> Ahmed is uh, on vacation with his family in Egypt, and he was still able to connect uh, and join us. Uh, thanks to VC for, you know, being able to have audio. <laughs> uh, apparently Ahmed can't use his Hotmail account while he's in Egypt because he did a stupid thing a long time ago where his, um, his authenticated account is his other Hotmail account. So he's basically trapped in this position where anytime he tries to answer Hotmail, they're like, oh, uh, please, please ask. Or, please please, please look check at the, the other one. Yeah, please check the other one. <laughs> <laughs> I want to take this opportunity to thank Microsoft. <laughs> uh, it's pretty funny. <laughs> I, I got weird messages on different devices and network, social networks from all the way going, what time's game today? <laughs> I don't have an email. Like, you, you, don't, you don't normally talk to me through here. What's going on? Oh, yeah, Egypt. <laughs> so how was your flight out and how's your trip, man? So far, so good. Yeah. Um, it's warm as hell here, but it's not humid like in Canada. It's actually it's bearable and unbearable. And uh, today was the last day of fasting, so uh, looking forward to being able to drink water during the day. <laughs> but uh, the trip was good, man. I have two two boys. They're manageable and uh, they're quiet. And uh, yeah, hope they stay that way. <laughs> Great. <laughs> yeah, you were at the pyramids today, weren't you? Is that what you were saying yeah, earlier? Yeah, today we're at the, yeah, yeah, today we're at the pyramids um, for five hours or four hours in a bit. It was really warm, but uh, yeah, fantastic, uh, awesomeness. Like it, you, you, you get a scale of awesomeness, and I, I keep in mind like uh, Acropolis. You know all the awesomeness that we've our characters have gone through, and yep. I, I saw a. Um, ancient longboat like a 3000 year old longboat that's actually been put together and reconstructed and i was like yeah this is something that else. like was built for a pharaoh right it was built for um, the pharaohs to cross over into the uh, the world of the uh, the gods or the undead no yeah. ceremonial boat yeah. Yeah. awesome I'm like yeah what level are they <laughs> you see two atoms oh look at that oh, what's going on here oh. Huh. Is that because Mark's not in here? Give me a second. Interesting. So, that means that we've got all players here. I get to make decisions. No, that's the wrong Adam. So, somehow... I, su I suggest we put it to a vote. Somehow, XSplit <laughs> thought that your window was also Mark's window, so I have to remove that, and, uh, alright. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> well, Adam will probably do the die rolling for Azildan and and Althiar if Mark is is late. And um, Ahmed doesn't have access to the die roller, so Adam is just going to be typing one d twenty many times all night long. Oh, no. All night. Most of my stats and my rolls, so don't worry about it. All right, Adam. How how is how is your non visiting the pyramids week? <laughs> uh, I had a couple of good workouts in the gym. That yep. was pretty good. Yep. And then I, uh, um, I'm 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 pulling fours for volume, which is nice. And then um, I'm playing a, a, a Transformers game. It's pretty fun. Okay. Robots in disguise. Yeah. 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 It's Oh, I don't know if you guys have played mm. this, but the uh, Shadow of Mordor game. Yes. Not the not the war, not the new one, the old one. I actually yes. picked it up and played it. My God, it's phenomenal. Yes, we were telling you we were telling you to play that game a year ago. There's recordings of John and I going, "Isn't this yep. game good?" And, and, and then, and then me, me talking about how it was, how it was like generative, like, like it had an interesting uh, way of generating dynamic plot lines and and NPCs yeah, really and dialogue. So. Responses. Yeah, I, I haven't played it, but I, I I appreciate it from the from the style of non branching narratives, like static non branching narratives um, or branching narratives. This sorry, this was but. the piece. This was the piece that did it for me. There yep. was a character that I lost to, like a, a a general that I lost to, and the first time I saw him, I was riding a warg, right, one of the wolves, and I lost. The second time I saw him, I wasn't riding a warg. He said, "Oh, you didn't bring your mother with you this time." 
like <laughs> that response, like it remembered and it actually gave like an awesome response. And I was like, okay, this game is gold. <laughs> yeah. See, I played that game. Like, I really like stealth games. Um, I'm playing Transformers. There's no stealth in that. You're going to blow things up. It's awesome. But um, <laughs> it, it, they, sometimes they kept, you they like kept, stealth games. Got it. <laughs> I, I, I like I like run around, stab things. It didn't even know I was there. Go to sleep. Um, <laughs> They kept going. They so all my all my um, nemesis, which is the the phrase they use in that engine for um, the reoccurring villains, go on about how I'm like a sneaky coward with no honor, yeah. just, just a little yeah. bitch hiding in the in the grass. And it's because yeah, it's where I am. Come come to the tall grass. I'll meet you in the tall grass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's an they're, they're just trying to they're just trying to coax you out. A bunch of they're like trying to coax warriors you out. trying to coax yep. and and shame the rogue for hiding. Yeah, it's like, and he's just there, just you know, go puff his puff his chest really tinily, going, yes, 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 right, fair enough. (laughs) But I'm gonna win. I enjoyed the game so much that I was going around and randomly killing like tons of orcs and tons of generals, that I actually started opening up all the levels and getting all the powers, and then I realized that I haven't even completed twenty percent of the game. Yeah. Yeah. I was like. Oh, things are going to get really hard to figure out. You went off script. Speaking of going off script, what are you guys doing tonight? <laughs> Actually, no. Why don't we Why don't we segue into what happened last game? Um, I, be- I believe more Lenorms exist. I don't right. know if that's allowed so, for Ragnarok. <laughs> episode 56, we'll call Here There Be Dragons Dead. <laughs> Lokrik and Dunovan research Ragnarok and discover that certain events involving the gods' deaths have been foretold. Uh, In particular, they're interested in Sirt's sword that is forged from dead gods and shines brighter than the sun. Hey, Mark. Uh, And Mark's got a hat. Let's make sure that everyone can see Mark's hat. Add a screen. Yes. Oh my, it's like summer vacation hat or something. Like... It's a going fishing for Lenorm hat. That's what it is. Oh, that's what he's doing. Oh, I see how you did that. <laughs> Got a little gnome for you. Come get him. <laughs> Which one? Which one? There we go. Uh, for a moment, you were Adam because uh, there were, for some reason, uh, X Split screwed up and showed two Adam heads. <sighs> All right, so we're just doing recap. Lokrik and Donovan do research in Ragnarok, discover that certain events involve the gods' deaths, and Sirt's sword, which may or may not be already forged, is uh, forged from de- the power of dead gods and shines brighter than the sun. Uker communicates with Trud about the wars going on between the human kingdoms and territories on Vosgard. Uh, Azildan communes with the Ministry of Planar Wildlife Management Home Office about how best to serve his devilish master, Cognazzo. I really enjoyed that scene. By the way, I had no idea like like how the commune was going to be until until we actually did it. Uh, there are some <laughs> things you can't just you can't plan. Um, and then as a DM, you just need to learn to to run with things when you get the inspirations. Uh, the heroes of Aegis continue to hunt Lenorm, facing Druskog Og of the Flooded Forest, and I believe they won. And then battled, uh, they battled the Scrag host that was around Druskog Og's lair until morning, which brings us to uh, the 14th of the current month, which is Alder. Uh-oh. Um, and I don't know how well a table will, will paste in chat. Not really well. Okay. So it's Uker's... Um time yeah <laughs> yeah it, 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 the the moon is full in the sky and this is the first day of the full moon during the um um the first month of spring and it also people have begun to speak because the snows have not receded the land has not warmed farmers are very concerned about the first crops of the year and the word Lummy Fimble is Winter casting. is on everyone's lips. Lemmy is flying around and casting his... Uh, he's flying around more places, actually, Marty. So where the, where the cities are, he'll go like around the perimeter and do a couple of castings of uh, control weather. Okay. And plant growth. 
to try to get. Um, I, I actually, no, hold on. We just finished the alarm. Are we taking some downtime? Uh, you guys haven't because leveled. I need a day. I need a day to do that. Uh, I think Uker probably wants to spend time alone for three days, locked away uh, in Dvergholm in his vault of uh, forgetting. Especially since if Ragnarok is coming and Big Mama is awake and it might be Fimble Winter, he doesn't know if this might be harder to do than previous. Hmm. It's right. actually a really good right. point. Um, so, Uker... Uker spends his own DC. time in his uh, uh, in his what do we want to call the chamber? It's, we, the chamber needs a name. Um, if Uker gets to name it, it gets name. like a happy name, <laughs> like a ridiculous, like you know, it's his you know his weekend getaway. <laughs> <laughs> the puppy palace. Puppy palace, beautiful. Um. Uker spends time in the wolf's locker. <laughs> it was named by somebody else. Yep. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was named by the dwarves of Dvirg home, and it translates to the wolf's locker. <laughs> well, that uh, sounds good. That sounds less good. <laughs> it's not a happy getaway. Um, but what are you doing this day? You know that you've got the day before. So Lemio, it sounds like Lemio... Um, studies his spells the next morning or prays for his spells the next morning and then goes around to various locations around Vosgard uh, casting control weather to try to keep the Fimble Winter at bay. So Lemio uh, travels around friendly towns and casts... Well, actually, uh, actually, um, Marty, if we're going to take the full three days for Uker, Lemmy wants to do his three days of healing people. Okay. Um, so, so the control weather and the plant growth doesn't impact it, and I think it's like seventy or eighty, like remove disease. And I, I had it listed. Yeah, be between between um, yourself and Gallus' efforts so far, um, Runeshod and Dvergholm are fine. You could, however, go to Vossen Saga and probably, you know, cast as many remove diseases as you could because of the size of the city. So Okay, I'll do that. I'll do that there. Okay. So Uker's going to meditate in a hole. Yep. Um, Donovan wants to go to Vosensega to secure access to the ring through political and or social means. Okay, so okay, it, so it sounds there, like talk to people. <laughs> it, it sounds like some people are going to Voss and Saga, and some people are staying at Dvergholm. So I'm going to group them on the conversation layer. We've got Lemio and Donovan. Looks like they're headed to Voss and Saga. Uh, Uker staying behind in um, uh, in Dvergholm. I'm just uh, going to take off the list of buffs because yep, it's a little excessive. It is a little excessive. You might want to copy and paste because I'm sure they'll go up again. Because um, yeah, we'll list, use them again. <laughs> so Lemmy and, and Midwick's lists are a little different. So if you want to keep those, because Lemmy, Lemmy has a couple of extra and Midwick has a few extras. Lokrook actually wants to have a word with Midwick. Mm -hmm. Lokrook. You join me for a drink? I don't know, is Midwick a of drinking course. man? Okay, so he he brings yeah. you he brings you to the tavern underneath uh, in the under under city of Dvergholm. Um There are a few people there. He speaks to Trafalgar. Um, Trafalgar politely asks everyone to leave, and it's just you, Trafalgar, the guy who runs the place, and uh, um, King Lokrik. They they tap a a small um, a small barrel of mead and pours it out. For you. If these snows continue, we may not have the bees to create the honey to make such a substance in this next harvest. Well, I'm hoping that little fellow will make sure that uh, snows are kept at bay. Hmm. Where do your people come from? As far back as I can remember, we've I've grown up in under the empire. The empire's. And everything I've known, but 
I'm trying to figure that out. The same empire that we described that is yeah. in the process of conquering Nalbrun. Or yeah, what we know of those it. Guys. Interesting. Those guys, same one. Many worlds, in many worlds conquered. Nalbrun's just one. They all travel through the gates. That's how they get around. And why do you keep themselves supplied? Why do you think the White Wizard sent you here? Were you in trouble? Yeah. There was, um, beneath the cities, our people and the goblinoids. We, we had wars. Wars for a long time. 60, 70, 80 years. But, uh, there was an issue. One of the nobles, he ordered my, he ordered my execution and my brethren's execution after he screwed up something. I couldn't have that, so I defended myself. And that put a price on my head, the biggest price hmm. than anybody from the Empire is going to ever have. And that's why I'm being hunted. The goblins took advantage of that, me not being around. I'm kind of the leader. And they made a push. And in, in, in doing so, they summoned... Uh, I can't remember what they're called. It's got, it's got a snake-like goddess of de demon and multiple arms. She picked up my guns and all the guns that I made and started using them like she was born with them. A Merolith. Right. That's what one of them said. I injured her, but not it, not not enough to do anything. She was riddling me with bullets. I thought I was gone, but the flash of light and poof, a lot of pain, and I was here. Does your empire have designs for Vosgard? Not that I know of, but I was just crafting. I've looked actually, Marty. When I went and um, when I was as as Midvik, when he was ex 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 inspecting the military and their guns, yep. Did he overhear or know of like, oh, you know, in this month you're gonna go to no. a place that's close to Boston? But you, but you right. knew they actively had campaigns on no less than six different worlds. Oh, well, currently there's six worlds that we're invading. Six. Probably more. Look, look, look looks deeply concerned. Right. It is a concern. And if they come here, they will use these guns. Oh, these guns are a problem, as you can see. Give it to anybody and they'll be able to hit anything. They do enough damage to put a, put a man down. Uh, but with, uh, you know, with these fellas, with our group here, we can stop them. There's a lot, there's a lot of them, but, you know, Euchre, Lokrik, you know, the magics that we've got here is, and the power these fellows got. And of course, my guns, push them back. These bastards don't deserve to rule anything. This They're empire, slavers. how would they treat dwarves? Just like they treat us. If you got a, if you got a benefit, they'll keep you around under their thumb. Otherwise, they'll take everything you got, kill you and your children. They'll try to convert you to their gods. Five-headed gods or whatever it is now. Bastards. A human god. Yeah. This one guy's after me, named the Reverend. I told you about him. He's dangerous. He's a lot worse with guns than I am. He can do a lot of damage. Killed me outright almost. Mm. But, um, somehow got away. But this guy's after me, and um, with the price that's on my head, I'm sure he's gonna make his way here. And he's got a lot of people helping him. He's got a lot of magics on him. See, the Empire, how it works. It only gives magic to a few people, and those are the nobles. Nobody else gets it, except for me, perhaps, who's crafting for them, who's a use. If you're no use to them, you're nobody. You're nothing but a slave. You know they slave their own kind. They slave humans to humans. Hmm. 
You and your people, should they need it, can find safety here. He knows. I'd love to lead him here. This would be freedom. Uh, I am sure that the others around you, the ones that are called the Heroes of Aegis, they will have the means. We will have the means. To go places. To do great things. Greater than we've already done and accomplished so far. Oh, oh King Lokrik. I know that I can get there through Barter Town. Mm. And I know that you can get to Barter Town from here. There's a gate. altagar has been to Barter Town. Right, right. I was gonna, I was escaping when the wizard got me. And he pulled me, pulled me here. But my route was to go to uh, Barter Town. And from there, I was gonna disappear. Well, we certainly cannot let them invade our lands and our homes and enslave our people. I would be curious to know what side they will be on in this coming time. If you ask me, they're Ragnarok. Hmm. They, do, they do nothing but destroy what's there and convert it to what they have. If you ask me, he's evil. I've seen them, I've seen their gods and their wills. Evil as those demons we've seen before, and those, those dragons. Well, we'll have to be ready on two fronts, then. We'll have to match them with strength and bravery, and we'll have to match their magic with our own. That's right. And don't, don't you worry. I know good people when I see them. I'll, I'll help you make some guns. Okay. That's it, fine it, with me. His, his, his eyebrow, like, pushes far up on his forehead like he wasn't expecting it to be that easy <laughs> anything that you can teach all smiths will be appreciated midwick making the ones that i've got making these these are called revolvers you see these chambers they revolve they rotate so they're called revolvers this is tricky i don't expect that your people will be able to make them for a time However, he pulls out the other rifles that uh, he got from, um, what's his name? Uh, no, not Wart, the, the vampire. Yep. Here's the two rifles. Fargon. Fargon, thank you. These ones, these are, for, these are much easier to make. I Lohr can teach you how to make those. Lokrik nods. He, he, he understands that one looks more complex than the other. Right, it's not just the it's not just the way it's made, it's the way the uh, the the bullets themselves. These are called bullets. It pulls out like a little round. These making these are very difficult, very time consuming and dangerous if you're not doing it right. For quantity and for safety, I prefer to use these ones. It should be a lot easier for you people to make. You can do them in quantity. He's starting to talk numbers and like, mm -hmm. <laughs> like, okay. like if you're gonna if you're gonna have a thousand men with a thousand rifles, it'll take this much time and kind of yeah. Lokrik is Lokrik is nodding and and uh, he seems pleased at what you're saying. And, you know, hopefully, if we can bring my people, making these would be a lot faster, much faster. Fielding, now. fielding an army with these weapons will make such an, a unit in the Ragnarok battles to come, a force to be reckoned with. Yes, right. You know, sounds like I've got a few days down. Where with with Uker being um, with his headache or whatever he's got. You know, I can start making a couple of things. And have, uh, have you your... guys haven't seen the Wadagi yet. <laughs> <laughs> have your sign to have your uh, crafters and your uh, smiths take a look at them. Come learn. Let me introduce you to our alchemists and our and our guns uh, and our smiths. Right. 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 Let's okay. get to it. He takes a, drinks everything down. <laughs> oh, uh, how, how how many days has it been? Because uh, third day thirty, I get I get my uh, mummification back. Um, since when? Since the last downtime? Since we last leveled. Since we last leveled. 
uh, doesn't. I think it's only been like ten days or something. Do you have? Does it take the day to do it, or does it? it takes thirty days. Well, no, but is it is it thirty days of activity, or is it thirty days it's just raw? You need like an hour or an hour and a half to a day to, to do it. It's I, I do like a regimen and like a few exercises. And that's what I need. To yeah, do. I'll allow him to do that during adventuring. Okay. Uh, I don't know when your downtime was. Uh, give me a second. Body was delivered. Well, the the, the, the date is on a the month ago. It's been a month. Ago. It, it, well, it was we we leveled just around like it was Uker's last. Uh, it, yeah, it, it's on the seventeenth. Um, but is that the beginning or the end of the leveling? It's the beginning it of the took leveling. Like three weeks. Right? Beginning of the leveling. Yeah. So it takes me fifteen days to do that, right? Because at the end of the oh right right so fifteen let days let me, mm -hmm. yeah I'm fifteen days up yeah you need to be the third of next month yeah, I'll so, I'll make so, I'll make so a note me, I'll make a note here yeah because he cast regen on me and that's why I lost it so Willow third um, midwick's mummification done oh, oh yeah speaking of which Lemmy's also doing regeneration on folks yep you're just basically going there and casting all the healing spells that you can healing removing curses removing disease right, right. uh right. regeneration yeah. okay that that's fine well after you do your rounds of controlling weather yes yes okay uh, so so mid midwick stays in dvergholm what is altagar and azildan doing are they going to volsen saga or are they headed to uh are they staying in dvergholm for a few days Uh, uh, Zildin's going to return to his little shack. <laughs> okay, with with teleportation, and, uh... that's pretty easy. <laughs> it's also like a day, a full day's trek outside yeah. of Overcome, So when Uker finds your and shack, he's going to fuck gonna... up. <laughs> Don't fuck up your shack. You'll and fuck then, up yeah. your dog pen. And then Altigar. <laughs> Altigar is he's staying in, in uh, Dvergholm. Staying in Dvergholm. Okay. He generally stays around when Uker's having his time <laughs> just got in it. case got it all right uker for the next three days uh give me your checks all right um as there's minimal help yeah we're there's there's a couple of characters that basically would try to kill uker if uker went crazy <laughs> yep are you well, exhausting well, yourself before i, think I uh, would kill uker <laughs> uh, the, the time that he's doing this at night, Lemmy would be done his castings, right? Yep. So Lemmy could be back to do his true form if he needs it. Got it. So Lem Lemmy is basically pushing his spells to the max and kind of... Yeah, yeah. I'm leaving, you know, I'm leaving two mythic points. One to come back and refresh. Like with a, with a teleportation, I come back and then I refresh my spells okay. to prep for Anchor. Uh, What's the current DC yet? The, the current DC is... 29. Okay, and then the con check. Okay, uh, spending just a mythic point on top of my base, and okay. that, that's that's what we do right now. Oh, that's um, plus 22? Plus 22. <laughs> <laughs> um, 36, I make the first one. Okay, first day, uh, Uker spends time in the uh, the wolf's locker and uh, it gets rather bored. Uh, they the the party that's still around checks up on him in the morning and you know refreshes his food and okay. his uh, water dish and uh... okay, he, he doesn't <laughs> he doesn't do his water dish <laughs> his his barrel you know another barrel of ale <laughs> barrel well yeah because it's always it's the sacrificial barrel because you know <laughs> um, what do you do uh, when you're in there are you reading a book or are you writing something are you playing with your alchemy stuff like uh, like what are you what are you well, he doesn't get he doesn't get his gear right his right yeah he, he doesn't get his gear he no is... he does not get his gear <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not allowed to him... make potions while you're in the hole <laughs> leave him his uh his ability to turn ethereal that would be hilarious just... <laughs> ghost wolf <laughs> all right just this one thing <laughs> just this one thing that's um, all you get he spends the time doing like a lot of physical push-ups training okay. but i don't think that's i think he's getting to the point where he's he is he is nearing the practical limit of any of that sort of 
like that being a valuable exercise? Yeah. So, so physical strength training, yes, because he could lift many times his own weight, no problem, right? But it's right. endurance training. Yeah. Like your con yeah. is fourteen, so running yeah. in a spot, you'll tire yourself yeah. out, right? So exactly. So, so, so yeah, he's it's... he's doing very long, boring jumping jacks, and you know. Yeah. Isometric. Handstand push-ups until he gets tired. Not not tired physic like from strength, but just tired Dude, lungs. Yeah, <laughs> lungs are burning. <laughs> um, at which point he would display of con and do it for much forever. much longer. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, okay, the next one. Thirty-five. Okay. And the third forty-one. All right. Apparently. So so those e those evenings, you, you just you just stay calm. You can feel the wolf bubbling up. You can sense that the that the that the moon is full and high in the high in the wintry sky. But you manage to push it aside. You manage to um, you manage to meditate and and keep these things at bay. Um, one night, I guess you got really sleepy, and the meditation turned into you took a nap and had wild dreams of crazy wolf packs and just running amongst them and you almost caught yourself waking up with the taste of blood in your mouth yeah you bit your tongue in your sleep yeah if, if it was check, check in the mouth you yep. know well, I, I bit it a little bit I guess I bypassed my own DR <laughs> you, you know that it would be a lot of fun to go up there and run around with thousands and thousands of wolves and whatever else wolf-like might be swept up in that madness. Yeah, that's comforting. Or would it? Would you lose yourself? In the mob. <laughs> you know, individualism. Meanwhile, Donovan and uh, um, Lemio had visited Volsen Saga. So Lemio had gone there to basically set up an impromptu, almost like Church of the Gnome, <laughs> come to me for your healing. Um, right. So, are are so you right. proselytizing worship of Yggdrasil and nature as part of this beneficence? Uh, I'm I'm showing the power of nature, and and if I have my followers around, if I have any follower influence of followers, I'd like to use them to help me organize these people and help them. If people want to learn about it, they can. Got it. They're like, oh, what power? Oh, this is from Yg Drasil. Yg Drasil is control of pushing back the winter. Yg Drasil is giving you this healing. Do you want to know? Want to know more? <laughs> give, give me a um, a perform oratory or a diplomacy check or a knowledge religion. Uh, Adam, can you hit me with a diplomacy? I if you can check my sheet. I I'll, 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 I got, I got, I got mean, you. I got you, fam. It's twenty uh, something, I think. Uh, your diplomacy is plus twenty one. Thirty-two. Okay. Uh, it it seems well received, especially in this uncertain time. And even though you've been creating um, uh, pockets of regular weather, some of the villages surrounding Vossen Saga that are outside of that pocketed area have um, started to empty into the city as people are looking for food or looking for answers. Um, and then yeah. wars in nearby kingdoms have actually started to produce uh, refugees into Vossen Saga. As there's a war in the neighboring kingdom. God damn. Uh, Donovan is going to spend a mythic point to create a permanent image of sort of like a, a shrine to Yig. Okay. And he will modify it as per Lemmy's instructions to like a tree with whatever. There's your, your insta shrine. There you go. <laughs> 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 All right, so there's there's this ghostly tree that is uh, that is that is in this in this square within Vossen Saga, and people are starting to make offerings to it. Um, um, small flowers that that have been dried, uh, bits of food, um, drink, oil, bits of earth. 
sometimes there's some children that just make s snowmen out of the out of the slush that remains. Yeah. And in six months, um, those children will make delicious snacks. Um, Marty. Lemmy <laughs> wants, wants to check with Donovan to see what he suggests. Basically, is it better to focus on bringing um, like plant growth on on a smaller area, like focusing more power on a smaller area, or focusing um, or spreading out the you know control weather and plant growth on other on farms. Do you know what I mean? So m less power on a bigger area or more power on a smaller area to try to produce more food for all these people? Lemio turns well, out of Donovan for her advice. <laughs> well, that's, he's, he's a smart fellow. And... That's an interesting question you pose. Um, Donovan is barred. I will roll a spellcraft check. Sure. I, I, believe, I believe if I increase the area... 37. Use, ...and use uh, magic to... to you know, give the farmers a chance. The more area will give me, let more farmers in to help out. I think that's the best chance that we have to not have these people starve here. There's really two forces at work here. Um, are we worried about people freezing to death, or are we worried about food over the coming year? Both. One solution solves one problem, the other solution solves the other. I would, I would, the only thing I would say is if you're frozen to death, you don't have the opportunity to starve. Um, we need to. Solving this with magic in a direct fashion it will be very difficult over a wide area. You will not have enough magic to protect people from an unending winter. Um, you're right. You're creating right. Creating havens for people um, will make it easier for us to care for for these humans, but it will also make them easier targets for our enemies, for for the gods who are who think ill of our efforts. Um, you've been it also you've been called Scraling a lot, not in a bad way, but people have people have been referring to. Um, Donovan is scraling. What's a scraling? In Vosslandic, it, Vosslandic, it means forest spirit, kind of like elf. Perfect. <laughs> it has a connotation of like wild thing that lives in the forest, though. Um, I, I've given all of the shits I could give. Um, we, we should meet, we should meet with the local archmage, and see what he's got to offer. The local Find archmage, as I understand it, is trying to create his magnum opus of craft. Oh, that's true. He is that's likely going to be indisposed. Uh, I just need to know from him how much, how much, how many people it can support. Not all of them here. is what I suspect he will say. Right, but for how long can he support these people? That's the information I need to change is pretty much the same. If I know more far, its reaction is going to be, it's not my job to support them. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Pass me my lipstick. <laughs> <laughs> my lipstick is made out of dead children, don't you know? <laughs> Wait for them to starve and then grind them up into... Oh, wow. <laughs> got dark pretty quickly. <laughs> uh, charcoal stick. Um... Uh, who is the the woman? Um, she is the one we should speak to. Um, somebody said something about Hammer Humper. Um, uh, the the uh, I'm trying. Adam's trying to remember the name. Uh, uh, Donovan she, is she was calling the bard tale of. Yeah, she was simply oh. called the Oracle. If you guys are the forgetting. Oracle. Yeah. Uh, that's probably why. I am. Um, the Oracle would be the one you should probably talk to, not the Archmage. Fair enough. Um, in fact, the temple that is 
west and north of here. He 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 talks about things like he's re- like like he's remembering these factoids. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> the temple that is situated <laughs> east and north of our current location, uh, where Aslan slayed slew all the priests. <laughs> um, <laughs> Gee, why didn't you want to join us? I don't know. <laughs> uh, sh- that temple would be where you'd probably want to forward your argument. Um, I can help you with this if you'd like. Um, although, first, um, I need to speak with uh, the king or the the king's mm, representative, something along those lines. I need to, to secure access to the ring. Well, that would basically be more far. As far as I know, no, you can get you whatever you need, because the king's it's an idiot. <laughs> it's all right if you stay here for this conversation. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's fine. I'm, I'm pretty busy. As it <laughs> The word typically is eccentric. That's that's the the way you pronounce that word in 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 more polite so, company. Marty, what Lemmy's going to do is he's actually going to see where the refugees are coming from, and cast control weather along that path, and then uh, around that area, like to, he's gonna he's gonna visit farmers and get them to make groups, like you know, collect into. Um, you know, one, the, the most healthiest and biggest farm, he'll pick one and put control weather on that and plant growth on that to make, you know, to get the most produce in the uh, least amount of time. Okay, so, you, so you're looking for the outlying areas that you kind of missed already to try to find where the farms are concentrated and start including them in in yes control weather. Yeah, give me a, um, a knowledge nature check, Lemmy. Marty, could you? Oh, here I'll I'll roll a I'll roll a knowledge nature for you there. Let me. Um, Marty, could you switch over to the Vosgard map? I just like to do do some math because I'm a big nerd. Um, sure. Um, give me a second. I just I, I want to see how practical it is from um, just to like I, I cure <laughs> Vosgard of of weather. Oh, it's it's very difficult, dude. Whatever nah. you do is going to be temporary unless you've got mythic control weather or something, maybe? Well, no, it's one of those, what if he spends the rest of his life just constantly oh, casting... trying to keep the weather at bay? <laughs> so, so here's the thing, here's the thing, you keep the weather at bay. We just, we just fill them full of years. Red Bull and, and Doritos and, and, and then I we just... <laughs> so here's Vosgard. I think for me it lasts for about four days or so. All right. so, here's Vosgard. So here's approximately where Dvergholm is. There's Runeshad beneath all these the, all these layers. You're going all the way down the peninsula. Okay, so the, to the kingdom of the, Vos, Vosland, and there's uh, Bubarg Arch, which is where the king lives, yep. and then Vosensega across the way. Um, all right, so we've got a a 55 diameter. We've got a 80 diameter. We've got a 90 diameter, and this place over here is a 70 diameter. Uh, and I'm just going to figure out. Some basic measurements on we'll figure out how much Ahmed could actually just solve the weather. So if that feels like what he's trying to do. Yep. Um. Well, <laughs> the, the idea is do this like you know do this in a day. Go do other stuff for four days. Come back, redo this. Go All do right. stuff for four days. So Azildin, I got a note from Mark. So while this is going on, Azildin slips out of Dvergholm. Um, he decides not to go directly to. Um, his shack, he commandeers a boat and starts heading out to the Mother of Monsters Islands, to the Isle of Monsters. Does he know about it? Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Not a great big secret. And then spends the next no. three days hunting down some very, very frightened, misshapen, small giants. Um with great how should we call this zeal <laughs> <laughs> with great zeal we'll call it zeal the zeal in which he used to hunt humans he now uses to hunt monsters <laughs> give me a character level check because it's kind of like downtime oh. uh, I, like this could be a, like a three hour fight against some no 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 yeah, level foes. That. that's that. fine yeah so we'll say it's a dc 
20 thing that you're doing. No, it's probably DC 18, something like that. Can I spend a mythic point? <laughs> yes, you can spend a mythic point. All right, he spends a mythic point and gets 18. <laughs> oh, damn. There were more than what you were expecting, and uh, they had some traps in their caves, and at one point you almost got kind of pulled up in that in like a net trap and beaten like a pinata. <laughs> um, but you managed to wiggle your way out of that and then just, just butcher um, maybe half a dozen of these misshapen ogreish creatures. Ahmed, how many control weathers can you do per day? Or why am I asking you? I'll calculate how many you can do per day. <laughs> uh, you, you can add... Uh, Mark, add a thousand gold pieces worth of sellable treasure to his old sheet. <laughs> I, don't know, I, think it's I don't know if he six. if he keeps that in his shack or uh, uh, just buries it under a tree somewhere. <laughs> okay, so, you, so you've got a little uh, a little cash that you were able to gather from the Isle of Monsters, and then you took trophies from each of these yeah. uh, half dozen ogre kin. Yeah, he he collects ears and teeth and okay. things like that and stores it in a box. Add those to your, you know, uh, to, your to your list of trophies. Uh, so Ahmed, mm -hmm. you can do twenty two castings per day. So this is almost like vengeance for the mother of monsters stealing uh, the white wizard. Is this tit for tat, yeah. Mark? Say that. <laughs> okay. Yep. <laughs> There were a couple of islands. You went and saw another island, and you looked at this nice little beach cave. You have no idea of the significance of the beach cave, but that's where um, Uker had his... Uh... It's also where Azzy's body died. Oh, yeah, on the edge. It's where Azzy died, that beach. Oh, fun, fun oh, memories. No, more no, fun no memories, wasn't that, that, that was on the outside of the island, because you were no. watching the thing... You were watching uh, Vargon approaching. Yeah. But it's the same island. Yeah, you're in the same island chain. We'll just say that for some reason, Azildan avoided that spot. Okay. Positive meets the negative, and then the whole world explodes! Um, Ahmed, your sheet is really hard to find stuff on. Uh, thank you. What are you looking for? Uh, you have 26 castings per day. I think um, it's, it's three three control weathers per mythic point. Uh, it's two control weathers per mythic point, unless control weathers here. You only have two sevenths. Okay. And you don't have any cleric ones, right? Right. Uh, uh, so, and you, yeah, you don't have any cleric ones. Okay. So, if you control weather, do atmospheric phenomena. The duration is effectively two days. Um, make, uh, make sure you double whatever you're looking at because druids get double diameter. Okay, double then four diameter. days. Uh... Yeah, double diameter and duration. You can also use his staff. No, no. Uh, which is an extra casting per day. Because you can throw a pump a cleric spell into it to get, or, or a whatever, and any spell into it to get that out. Um, okay. Uh, so... Equal you divided by you. <laughs> Let me ask, never, never has a 7th level spell ever again, and can he combat Fimble Winter is, is basically the calculation that Adam said. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm currently calculating. Uh, so, what you... You can basically save... 3% of the populated area from Fimble Winter. Uh, uh, on this Wait, map? On this, no, th no, it's not the whole map. It's 3%. So I, I picked a region that was uh, 192 miles diameter, a region that was 216 miles in diameter, a region that was 186 miles in diameter, and a region that was 120 miles in diameter as my as the kingdoms, right? Each kingdom. So this, num this is actually a very significant portion because you don't really if he can <laughs> he could save 3% of the populated area including the space between farms and shit like right we're not looking at that <laughs> what Lemmy's focusing on is, is defendable areas that are surrounded by healthy farms right oh, and that's what if, he expects if you're talking to... about like the earth humans take up something like that much percentage of the earth 
Right, right, right. Okay. So, sure. so, so Lemio is slowly expanding where he's going to cast uh, Control Weather, and he's trying to trying to save it. He he knows he's not going to be able to get everyone. Um, yes, but significant but I'm hoping people are smart enough to go to those areas. Okay. You spend a few days doing that, and then Donovan... You create safe zones across the whole planet, basically. <laughs> so far, he's only named three. He's named right. Runeshad, Dvergholm, and, and Volsen Saga. Um, mm -hmm. um, well, right, he's using three of the potential 27 he could use per day. And then he could multiply by four for all the different areas. Um, Donovan is going to go see the king. Okay. We actually have a High King's Hall. Uh, that's not it. Oh, that's the hall where you got attacked. Oh, Marty, the there is a, a, there is a casting on do on that mountain. Um, there's a city with a temple and an angel or some kind of angel gargoyle on the mountain. I can't remember what the hell it is. Oh, is that Skadi's? Um... With the blue skinned the blue skinned uh, giantess and the nuns. This is called Skadi's Horn Pass with uh, Skadi's Horn Mountain, Snowshoe Mountain Lodge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ask, ask if I'll go there and talk with one of their clerics, see if they're, if they need one, and if they do, I'll cast it there. They seem well equipped to handle the winter. It's, no, no. I'm just trying to think of other places that may need it. I might reach out to the team and see if there are other places that need it. Maybe. Um, um, what's it called? Yeah, you you you, you, yeah, you know called. from you know from the maps of Dvergholm and because this only affects like a portion of a hex, right? Yeah. The the problem is everyone's spread out. Um, you could make oh, you could good. make the lands around Runeshad very safe, like all the farming areas up at Carlsbank and Hellgas Ferry and the Sicils of Dalrode, uh, the Sissel of Jorgen to the to the south. These areas could all like you could you could make not just the town but the entire um yeah uh, the areas around it yeah because i think it's a six mile diameter i believe that i get mile radius if it's double it's three miles for a druid is what the spell said so three, three miles. mile radius so six yep. mile six mile radius or diameter a druid casting the spell doubles duration and three mile radius yeah it's it's like three or four castings per hex yeah, so so I'm gonna look for other towns that may be populated. Okay. Pop there, and and and, to... and where are you concentrating them? Like like it, it feels like you're trying to do all the things at once. So where are you concentrating your casting? No, so I'm, what I'm what I'm focusing on is defendable areas, and then no 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 not I I don't want descriptions. I want where so on the map are you casting this? Yes. Right. I don't I don't have map tools, but um, the uh, um uh, Runeshad and um, uh, Vossen, uh, Vossen, Vossen Saga, and then all of their feeder Vossen farms Saga. in their areas. Yes. Okay. Yes. Great. That that's good. I that's good to know. So for the next four days, they will be safe from the winter. Uh, yeah. Cool. That's, that's only one day of. Uh... <laughs> yes. How many days is Ukara out for? Three days? Three. Uh, okay, so you're not okay. recount casting these on those places. You are going out and finding new places? Yeah, because it, once I do it one day, it's good for four days, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and then on the second day, those areas are good for three days? I'm going to focus I'm gonna focus around those areas, those three areas, and their farmlands. Okay. I'm going to plant growth those farms. Yeah, plant growth you only have to cast once per year if you read the spell. Oh, yeah. like, I think I think an area can only gain benefit from plant growth once per year. Uh, that's, that's my uh, that's what I remember from the spell. It's also a percentage of the it's a percentage increased yield. So if the shit's frozen. <laughs>